Hi, my name is Jessica. I am a registered nurse on telemetry. I was taking care of a particularly complex patient, um, had cardiac issues, he was also in dialysis, he was also on isolation precautions, um, and needed insulin, um, so that's where the injury occurred. Um, so I went in to give insulin um, on one side of the bed, and I had uh, two students on the other side actually feeling for his fistula, so he was moving, they were moving him, and at the same time I had another nurse in the room also who was co-signing my insulin, so the room got very small very fast. The lights were turned off, so the only light in the room was actually from the computer screen. Um, also we were in gowns and gloves because he was on isolation precautions. So a lot of different things kind of happening all at the same time. Kind of this perfect storm of couldn't really see, patient moved, students had him by the arm. I mean, it was like that. It uh, was pushing the cap back up, the safety on the needle. Um, before it could get all the way to the top, it poked me in the finger. I didn't think that it could happen that quickly. I, I've never had a Sharps injury in all the years that I've worked in a hospital, um, so it scared me. Um, sheathed the needle, threw it away, took off my gloves, washed my hands real fast, and actually called the charge as I was heading down to the ER. Going into the room, I thought I was being careful putting on my precautions gear. Um, I was trying to teach. Um, and it's something that I've done a thousand times. Um, even something as seemingly small um, as administering insulin with one of the tiniest needles that you could possibly administer anything with um, has um, in incredible gravity um, should something go wrong. We can't take care of others if we're not taking care of ourselves. Slow down and be mindful. Um, really take into consideration with each of our actions how that affects uh, not only the patient but ourselves as well. And I know what I find helps is before you ever start the day um, to stop in the morning, you know, really be present, um, giving myself enough time to be in, you know, this room here and then this room in here and giving my full attention in each of those rooms instead of thinking while I'm in this room um, about what I'm going to be doing over here two rooms away. Yeah. Treat each patient um, as if there, there could be an injury to yourself. Mm -hmm.